So we finally got another look at Avowed, and it looks like it is improved in a, in a more updated version of the Unreal. It didn't delay the game at all, but the visuals do look better. This trailer does make the game look more appealing, and we did get to see a little bit more about it and hear a little bit more about the story. So this, this presentation was actually really good, and it makes me more excited for Avowed because I want it to be one of the best games to come out for Xbox, right? Because I love Obsidian so much. They've never had a chance to have an original IP that was had a AAA budget, right? Their their games have always been independently made, and they've always had a AA game at best with the Outer Worlds. Uh, so I am looking forward to this game. I do want to see what Obsidian does because they do need their own identity, and I think Outer Worlds was amazing, and I think that is giving them their own identity. This game is set in you know their their own universe. The, the I think the Eternal Lands or uh, you know, but it came from Pillars of Eternity, so it does have its own universe. It has its in-universe lore. The lore is already established, right? So they have a lot to work with. It's going to have deep environments. I do like the art direction. Some people don't, but I mean, it 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 looks good. You know, it it ha it has good detail to it. It has a lot of colors, really col colorful, more so than Oblivion, right? But I do like it. We see we get some effects here with the, um, you know, with the circles, the way magic is done. It looks very purposefully done where you're not just casting spells and, and it's, you know, doing whatever. We have like bigger spells. We're actually casting it. We see the runes. We see the writing in them that adds some weight to it. I do like that part about it. We see a lot of different skills, a lot of different abilities, a lot of different ways to play this game, right? So we know that there are guns, there are spells, there are swords, and a, a bunch of different ways to play. And I think, you know, the way that they did this artwork right here sums it up perfectly. This, this is going to be a colorful, artistic game set in a high fantasy universe with lots of lore, lots of characters, lots of choice. And they did, they did solidify that with the choices and... I'm guessing like other Obsidian games, if you've played any Obsidian game, Knights of the Old Republic 2, South Park Sick of Truth, you know, uh, what's some of the other ones they have? Yeah, Outer Worlds, Fallout New Vegas, you know that they build their games with a lot of different choice, a lot of dialogue. The dialogue Obsidian writes is incredible, bar none. So I have no doubt we're going to have choices. We're going to be able to be evil if we want to we're going to be able to kill npcs or kill whomever we want i have no doubt about that we are going to enjoy this game and i think it's going to be a hub world now that seems to be their specialty is making hub worlds. so you know kotor 2 was a hub world outer worlds was a hub world and i think avowed is going to be a hub world which is okay with me Right. It's OK, because it's going to have a lot of replayability, especially if you could pick different races, characters and uh, customize your story with your companions and all that good stuff. Now, we not every game needs to be the open world format. You could still have a hub world and make it really amazing. You know, hub worlds are great. I think Jedi uh, Fallen Order is kind of like a hub world. So I think it's going to be like that. They're all interconnected, but. There are different worlds. They're not. It's not one big open world. And I guess you could say Starfield is even like that, right? Starfield isn't a true open world game. It's kind of like a, uh, you know, it's a, you know, you could say Starfield is like that too. It's not a true open world game. It's like a hub universe game where you go to different planets. Each planet has its own open world section, and that's kind of like what a what a hub world you know, RPG is. So really excited for Avowed. This presentation does give me more confidence than the other stuff that we've seen. Uh, what I think happened is Microsoft came in, they injected a lot more resources into this and they made sure that Obsidian had the support that it needed to get this done and they deserve it. So thank you, Microsoft, for helping out Obsidian. Thank you for letting them cook like you have because Obsidian is one of my favorite studios, uh, particularly just because Knights of the Old Republic 2 and Fallout New Vegas and the Outer Worlds are, are three, of, three of my favorite games that I've ever played. So I want this to do well, and I want this to do well for Xbox, and I want Obsidian to continue, and I want Obsidian to do New Vegas 2. And if they do really well with this, and they do well with Outer Worlds 2, it's very possible that we do get a New Vegas 2. I don't want any other spinoff. I don't want a, a different city. Well, I kind of do want Fallout New Orleans and Fallout other places. But 
I specifically want New Vegas too, right? That's what I have to say about Evolved. Again, I'm going to sound like a broken record here. Another 10 out of 10 presentation. All right, if you like this video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thanks.